kindness doesn't happen naturally. At least that's what Shanti Feldon says, and in this video, it is Reading Between the Lines Book Club time. Our host is Ingrid from Mama and Mia's Homeschool Chronicles and April from The Simple Rugged Path, and today we're going to be talking about this book. So stay tuned and check out the, co uh, the host's channel link down below as well as a playlist with everybody's thoughts and ideas on this book. We were given a, uh, we were given 10 questions to answer about this book and I am a little behind in everything. I kind of was last time too. But um, let's just jump right in and talk a little bit about this book. So the one of the questions is, um, what did you like best about this book? When I first started reading this, I kind of had this idea that, oh my goodness, this is going to be another like Pollyanna type of book. And strangely enough, she does address that, um, those people that have that mindset when they start this book. But I, I wasn't too sure and I started out reading it and I was like, eh, I'm not so sure about this. But as I got further along into it, there were some things that I really did enjoy. Um, just when I think of being kind, it's sometimes you kind of think of putting, you know, paste a smile on your face and do something and being kind about it. Whereas Ashanti kind of addresses it more as a genuine, hey, you need to do this because it's the right thing to do kind of attitude. And even that, that's kind of something that I'm taking away. I, d I didn't really kind of gather that she put it in that way. Basically, you need to do it to change you. And if you want to change the situation, it's up to you to change it. And you need to do that by being kind. It was kind of um, how she put it. But what I took away from it was I kind of need to be kind and genuine. And that is something that really doesn't come naturally to me like I said at the beginning of this video and so that was probably the um, one thing that I liked best about this book. One of the things I did like least about it was more that um, kind of it, it, it was a little bit difficult for me being a stay-at-home homeschooling mom to kind of take the research that was put in this and apply it um, to certain aspects of my life. I'm not a businesswoman. I am not, um, generally I'm not put in places where I have to grit my teeth and be kind no matter what. I, I just don't have that. Um, I, to not be like puffed up and proud, people generally like me. They find me very kind. Um, so it was, difficult in reading this book and thinking, okay, what am I going to take away from this? One of the things I liked least about this was that it did feel more like a Pollyanna type of approach, you know, just look at the bright side of every situation. It wasn't um, the more you got into the book, but when you started out reading it, I was really struggling with picking this book up. I didn't want to. Um, and first, I was like, well, that's because you actually really need to read this book. You know, that's your conscience speaking. And I was like, no, actually, no, it just had this um, fakeness feel about it. You know, fake it till you make it. And it, it wasn't. And that was probably the thing that I liked least about it. So the next thing that we're encouraged to do is share a favorite quote from this book. And I have three. One of them is, I'm going to learn everything I can about this job while I am here. And it's more of a good outlook on on everything um, about it, which doesn't really fit the kindness, but it's something that really stood out to me kind of like with motherhood. And then on page 80, she said something, or on page 80, she said, I want to be happy. And it, she's quote, you know, I want to be happy. How do you know that you aren't already happy? Is it, it isn't about own, having everything. It is about appreciating what you have and being thankful. And I, that one really spoke to me. I really thought that was um, on point, very um, mind provoking. Like, how do you know you're not happy? Is it a feeling? Well, feelings lie, <laughs> you know? It's, I, I thought that was beautiful. 
Um, another thing that I really liked was actually a quote, going back with that feeling, it was actually a quote from Lisa Turkirst, Turkirst? Best selling book on glue. And she says, I always say that our feelings are indicators, not dictators. Negative feelings indicate that an issue needs to be addressed, but should never dictate that we should address it in a negative manner. Start with a three second pause. Patience is a choice, and I'm capable of being patient by choice, even if patience isn't my natural inclination. That also allows the Holy Spirit time to interrupt what might be my more natural response. Then in that pause, I remember to attack the issues, not the people. Finally, I ask myself, what's my real desire? Do I want to prove that I'm right or improve the situation? I always have to remember, I can't do both at the same time. And I really, really liked that. So that was found in this book as well. Another question we have was, would you read another book by this author? Why or why not? And I have read her for women only and for men only, and I loved them. They were fantastic. I actually read them in high school, and honestly, I kind of wanted to read them again. And it didn't, it felt like she was in a completely different um, direction with this book than she was with that one. And that one, I think, had more of a keeping pure and how, and how people respond to certain attractions of the opposite sex and how to deal with those and be modest and God-fearing with that. Whereas this one kind of felt more how to address conflict, for lack of a better word. What feeling does this book evoke for you? What were my thoughts on this? I enjoyed it. Um, to begin with, I really didn't enjoy it. I wasn't really sure I was going to finish it. Um, but my mother wants to read it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to let her borrow it and then I kind of want to read it again before I pass it along. So there's kind of where that went. It was unexpected for sure. Would I recommend this book? Um, no, I I wouldn't go up to somebody and be like, have you ever read this book? You really need to read this book. I wouldn't do that. Um, if we were in a conversation where something came up, I would be like, oh, you know, now that you mentioned this, have you ever read this book? It just seems like something that would fit the situation and I really think it might benefit you. In that sense, I would recommend this book, but I wouldn't just say, oh, you you guys really need to read this book. It. I have other books that I would do that more with but I don't think I would do that with this one just because again it really dude if you want to be like Jesus then I don't know I don't know how to put this in I don't I don't know how to say that but um yeah I think I answered that any things we learned taking away from this um there was her, I think it was like the seven different ways that you're unkind and didn't really know. I I was trying to read that with an open mind and some of them were on par and some of them I was like, I, I think there needs to be a little bit more um, understanding with those. So some of the things that I read, I, I took away. Um, I feel like I'm being very vague in that, the, to be honest. Did I learn anything new? Not really. Um, again, my, my mom has always taught us, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it. So I'm not trying to stop my mouth all the time. My mom has taught us from the beginning, um, change your attitude. That's something my, I grew up learning all the time. She's like, just because you're miserable doesn't mean that you have to make everybody around you miserable. And so some of the things that we are unkind in, um, I was like, you know, if I just go back to what my mom has told me, I really haven't learned anything new. It's just applying all the stuff that I have learned throughout my whole life. So I didn't really learn anything new. I can't really say I walked away with a deeper understanding or a greater sense. So in that sense, this was kind of like a meh story. It was really good. Um, so put, kept putting something fresh in my mind, but it wasn't anything new. Again, I do want to read it again, kind of just... I think because I do have a different perspective now than what I did when I first started it, I might, I might take away something different now. I don't know, but that was my first impression. What questions do you still have? I have a 
would like to know why... Okay, so she puts the budget in how much it costs to do this thing. And I was like, why would anybody spend or have that kind of budget for, for this? I don't understand why you would want so much research done on that when you could have taken that, that money and put it to um, funding or helping missionaries, people struggling, people on the streets. I don't understand budgets when they want to research something like this when that money, if we just have common sense, um, we can we can do so much if people would just use their common sense and so did it leave questions only in the sense that I don't understand why there was such a big budget to write this book <laughs> if that makes sense um, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of business people kind of contributed it so that they could use it for um, empowerment maybe I, I don't know so there's that what surprised you most about this book is another question we have. And to begin with, it was the fact that I started this thinking, here we go, another Pollyanna book, and kind of getting a little bit more invested in it and kind of changing that perspective. So that was probably the thing that changed me most. Again, in the end, it wasn't a bad book. Honestly, the cover turned me off. I don't like this cover at all, and I know that sounds petty, but it makes me think of some of the cheap ebooks that you see on Kindle and because of that I wouldn't normally have picked this up if it wasn't something that even even with the author I, I, I don't think it would have just I don't think I would have registered that author the, the cover just totally takes turns me off for, for lack of a better word so that's probably the, the best I can the best I can tell you um did I apply because it is like a step-by-step -step program of some things that you can do to improve relationships? Did I do the step-by-step? -step? Yes and no. Because I wanted that in my mind, I would say that I have improved it. But again, I was just taking stuff that I knew what to do and I was trying to apply it to um, a couple people in my life that I'm on a daily basis with and I'm not talking about my husband and my children. Um, and I was just trying to be like, you know, show a little kindness and did our relationship change no it's still as rocky as ever um so did the principles work i don't know it wasn't about whether or not they would work it was about doing what was right so that's my review for you there's going to be another book out coming out next month and you're going to want to see it so stay tuned for that and check out the playlist with everybody's thoughts on it below i did watch them before i make this video and some of the points they brought up were very um, thought-provoking for me, and I did enjoy that. So go ahead and check it out, because not everybody had the same viewpoint that I did. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Happy reading. Read another book. Have another chapter. Definitely pour yourself another cup of coffee. We need it right now. Throw a little ice in it if you need to. And I will see you in the next video.